Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Wear Test Wednesday. And today we are going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation. Um, I have owned this for quite a few months now. I have only wore it one time. Um, it was to an outdoor event. So I was constantly wiping my face. It was super cold that day. So to be honest, I don't remember how well it held up. So I thought that this would be a perfect one to do on my channel next because I have really been wanting to give it another try. Um, I wasn't disappointed with the first one that I did with it, but I did want to do it on camera and show you all because I've heard so many mixed things about this foundation. Some people like it. Some people say that it is just awful not to buy it. It's in a lot of their um, anti-hauls and things that they won't repurchase um, and things that they just won't purchase at all. So I really wanted to try it out on my channel with my dry skin and kind of see how it works when it's really put to the test because I remember the day that I wore it, I didn't wear a lot of makeup. I kept it pretty minimal because I knew I was gonna be outdoors all day and I wanted something that was just very light on the skin. So I did choose that one this day, um, or I did choose this one. Um, but this is what it looks like. This is the amount of product that you get inside of it. You get a decent amount, I think, it was around $30, I could be wrong. I will pull up the price um, at the end of the wear test and we'll kind of see how much it was and if it was really worth it or not. But let's go ahead and let's jump on in. Okay, so off camera, I already did my eyebrows this morning and I did my eyes and I just put a little bit of shadow on and then just a little bit of mascara. I'm gonna wait and do my bottom um, after the makeup is put on. But um, I wanted to do this off camera because Wear Test Wednesday is all about foundation, no other makeup. So I thought that I would just save the time, go ahead and do that, and then we could jump right in with the Anastasia Stick Foundation. So for my primer today, I am using the um, Forsali Rose Gold Elixir. I thought this one would be a good one to use with a stick foundation because I really like to use this with my Hourglass foundation. So I thought that it would be pretty compatible to use with this one as well. Um, ignore my face. I have a lot of breakouts and just rough areas going on. My skin is just doing something crazy. But I do plan on doing a couple of check-ins throughout the day. One at about one or two and then the other one I'll probably do about 7 p.m. when I'm ready to take it off. So far, I can go ahead and say that using the Forsali Elixir was a good choice with this. It did help it glide across the skin um, very nicely. And I'm just going to be using a sponge just to kind of buff this in and work it out. It doesn't blend bad. Um, I think that my vanish stick actually blends a little bit nicer than this i have a helper <laughs> what are you doing baby what are you doing what are you doing you just put makeup on me mommy okay okay no you gotta sit still you guys no you guys are still oh i'm gonna make it pretty this is beautiful already mom. don't eat the sponge don't eat the sponge. This is Benny. He's my baby. Aren't ya? He says I'm a mama's boy. I'm a mama's boy. He says I always see you talking to that thing. Who are you talking to? There's no one near mom. Okay, so blending out on the skin. I'm gonna bring my mirror a little closer. I can see that it's kind of clinging to some dry patches on my forehead and then around the nose a little bit. Um, kind of in through here. So it makes me wonder how other product is gonna sit with it. Um, we're gonna go on in and do the rest of the face and kind of see how that makeup holds up with this foundation. So I'm going in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I'm just going to put it on like I normally do on the face. And then I'm just going to use that same sponge just to work it in. But yeah, it is really clinging 
to some dry patches. So I'm gonna do a little bit of setting powder over the face to kind of work some of this out. And next I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me in the 05 Fair. And I am just going to kind of set my face a little bit, just kind of under the eye and the chin. And I'm not gonna set my forehead today because it is looking pretty dry. Okay, so with some setting powder over top of it, it still doesn't look any better. Um, it still looks like it's sitting and resting on the skin and not soaking in. So far, I'm not feeling great about this foundation. I feel like it's going to just be a flop. I hope not, but like I said, the first day that I wore it, I did not wear a lot of other makeup with it and I didn't really care because I was doing an outdoor event that day and I knew I was gonna be rubbing and touching on my face. So I wasn't really worried about the um, holdup of the product, but for this video, that's all that we focus on. So I'm noticing a lot more flaws this time around, but we'll just kind of see how it holds up throughout the day and once we get the rest of our face put on. But I'm gonna go in with a little bit of bronzer and I'm using that Too Faced Chocolate Soleil or the Milk Chocolate Soleil. And just using my big fan brush. I've gotten back into the habit of doing this lately. And I've missed it. And then I'm just gonna go in with my Milani blush in the shade T Rose here. Just using my big flat top brush. Okay, just going in with my L'Oreal True Match Lumi highlighter here, using my sponge to apply it with. And I'm just gonna set it with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. So my first impressions on the foundation alone was that it was not the best as far as how it held up with my dry skin. Um, before I put any other product on, it really just kind of clung to my dry patches and it really accentuated the flaws in my skin, the things that I want to cover up. It really made those stand out. So that is something that I noticed. Now that I have the rest of my makeup on, I have a little bit of setting powder, concealer, bronzer, blush, highlighter. I mean, I have every bit of my face on. Um, it looks, from a distance, it looks better, but around here, here, the nose, um, and then kind of in the forehead, it is definitely, definitely so easy to tell. Like if somebody was standing in front of me, they could see all these flaws in my skin. And it's, and it's one of those that I, I think that it is the, the foundation, the way that it just, that it just clung to me. Um, the coverage was a very kind of light coverage, light to medium coverage. And that also may have something to do with it, but it may be one of those that throughout the day, it kind of sets in a little bit better and looks a little bit nicer on the skin. Once some of my oils start breaking through, it might kind of tone and kind of settle everything down um because it's not a very moisturizing or dewy foundation so i'm almost thinking that once my oils start to break through that it might give it a little bit more of that glowing look but right now i just feel especially in spots like i look so cakey it does not have a natural finish on my skin whatsoever um but to be honest i'm not too, too impressed with it. Um, it didn't cover up my blemishes like I wanted it to. But other than that, I'm really not too impressed with it. Um, I'm gonna hop off here, do some chores, and I'm gonna come back in a few hours and give another check-in and kind of see where it stands there and if it's anything's changed or if it's still the same. So I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back with my first check-in. It is now 2.46 in the afternoon. So it's been about almost five hours, about four hours and 45 minutes, almost five hours since I put the makeup on. It's held up extremely well. I've honestly just been resting around the house doing chores today. I've not been putting it to the test or anything like that. So I'm not really complaining. It might be gone a little bit through here because I have had been doing this a lot. Um, I almost dozed off at one point, but uh, to be honest, it's held up on the skin super nicely, but I still am not crazy about the way it looks. My nose doesn't look any better. Right here doesn't look any better. Um, it's still really accentuating those dry patches on my skin. 
which I'm not crazy about, but the durability of the makeup has held up nicely. My skin still feels super, super smooth. It doesn't feel cakey at all, especially right down through here, um, even where it has wore off a little bit. Um, the bronzer, the blush, and the highlight still look super fresh. They look very, very nice. I'm pretty impressed with it. I just can't get over the dry patches and, and that sort of thing. Um, that's the only downside so far. I don't like how it's clung to my dry patches, but other than that, I don't really have anything to complain about. Um, and it could just be my skin right now. It could be that it is transitioning from winter to spring. The weather is crazy. It could just be my skin underneath, but I know that lately with other products, my skin has not had this issue. It could be that it's a stick foundation and I'm used to more dewier products. Um, maybe I need more moisturizer. There's a lot of things that can factor in. Maybe if I put a little bit of concealer down beforehand, it would have a little nicer base to grab to. Maybe if I mix that primer with a different primer, maybe if I just did a different primer, there's so many what ifs when it comes to this. So I can't totally knock it out because of that, but overall everything else has held up super nicely on the skin. Um, so I really don't have much to complain about other than this, this, and a little right here, um, which I could live with because I do wear glasses. So on a typical day, my glasses would be covering it up. I have not worn my glasses today because I didn't want any smudge marks or anything like that. I wanted to give it the full aspect of just the bare face to see how it wears. So yeah, we're going to wear it for a few more hours. I'll be back and we will give it the final wrap up as to what we think about this foundation. So I'll catch y'all in a little bit. Okay guys, it's now 722. This is my final check-in for the makeup and kind of my final thoughts about it. Um, overall, it wasn't terrible. Throughout the day, my skin seemed to dry out a little bit more. Um, and then just as the day went on, past that it was like three o'clock and on my skin just kept getting drier and drier and drier this was an extremely long time to wear this makeup um it wasn't quite 12 hours it was about nine hours that i've had this makeup on um and for nine hours of wear i can't really complain but throughout the day after three o'clock so from three to seven it really just accentuated on dry patches and it was almost like the makeup just kept wearing off um, around my nose it's almost totally gone down through here to about right here it's like totally gone um, it's super dry in here my forehead is looking super super flaky and super patchy for a little bit of wear if you're going somewhere for a couple hours and you don't have dry skin I recommend this foundation for dry skin I'm sorry but I'm gonna have to say no I was not super impressed with it it did not work well for my skin I have used other foundations especially the hourglass vanish stick and it has held up so much better than this one especially for us dry skin people um so there are stick foundations that do work for us we don't have to make so many tweaks and, and just kind of changes to them in order for them to work with the hourglass I can do just about anything and it works perfect for my skin so with this one I mean if I put the time and effort and I put you know just the right amount of chemistry with it and I balanced it out with something else I would have to take a lot of playing with it to really see what works best um but to be honest by that point I would rather just go grab a foundation that I know is a go-to for me um and this one is just unfortunately not it <sighs> So for us dry skin people, I'm going to have to go ahead and give it a thumbs down. I was not too impressed with it on the way that it looked on the skin. Um, but like I said, for oily skin people, this is definitely one I would give a shot. Um, give it a try. See what you think about it. But for me, I'm going to have to give it a no. So I'm going to pull it up online real quick and I'm going to see what they claim to say about it and what they say that it works best for online. So this is the product details that this foundation stick gives us. It says a shade for all skin tones, a multitasking formula for all over coverage, touch-ups, or highlighting and contour. I would recommend this for a highlight and a contour. Get you a dark shade for a contour. Um, this one would be perfect for highlight, but for foundation, it reminds me so much of the NYX Wonder Stick, especially in the formula in it, and this was so much cheaper too. Um, the price of this one is $25, so it's less than $30. Bucks. Um, 
I wouldn't give that for a contour stick. I would stick with the NYX Wonder Stick. Like I said, for oily skin, it may work better for you. They have 30 shade options to pick from. Mine in which was in the shade Warm Porcelain, which was a really good tone for me. Um, so if you are my skin tone and you're looking for something that is about this color, I did use Warm Porcelain. Highly blendable and easy to layer. Um, layering I could see, but the blendable, I mean, it wasn't terrible. I was just having high standards of the Hourglass Vanish Stick and it wasn't quite as well as that. It says it's medium to full coverage. I would say more light to medium for me anyway. Um, there was a lot of blemishes in rosacea that I needed to cover up that it did not do. So I would not say full coverage. Maybe if I layered it up, I could make it full coverage. But on that first pass, it was light to medium for sure. It says smooth matte finish. That is true. So by it saying a matte finish, um, and it was pretty smooth. It, it, it did have a nice feel, kind of a velvety feel to it. I'm going to go ahead and say hands down oily skin. Dry skin, I wouldn't even worry about it. Don't save the 25 bucks. Go get something else that works better. I would not waste it on this. Um, I, I, I wouldn't. I'm just going to go ahead and say oily skin. I recommend this. Um, or even for a highlight or a contour, I think that it would work so much better than wearing it as a foundation. But that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you missed the last Wear Test Wednesday that I did, I will leave it linked somewhere up top there for you to click on if you want to go watch that. Um, it was on more of a drugstore foundation and I was really pleased with the results. Um, so yes, go check that one out and be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see more posts and you can catch more Wear Test Wednesdays that I have on here. They do come on every other Wednesday at 10 a.m. so you don't want to miss it. Anyway, I will see you all next time. Bye guys.